As designs become more complex, they also become harder to verify. Now, not only do we have to verify that they function correctly, but we have to verify that they're safe, they're secure, and reliable. And so people are looking for more and more techniques and approaches to help with this verification challenge. People are turning to technologies like formal verification, which can help us to very quickly find bugs and issues in our design and help us to find them earlier in the design process. Are you currently using a formal app or perhaps you've written properties that you're running through a formal tool on your own project? Maybe you've asked yourself the question, is there a way to be more effective and efficient using formal verification? Perhaps you're running into performance or capacity issues and struggling to get convergence on your properties. Here at Duolos, we believe that the better you understand the formal technology and the more you understand some of the advanced techniques that you can use with formal, the more efficient and effective you will be with the technology. We can equip you with the skills needed to become a subject matter expert in formal verification. In our advanced formal verification course, you'll receive hands-on practical experience using formal in real-world examples. For example, we use a RISC-V system on a chip with a 32-bit RISC-V processor and peripheral devices so that you can see where and how to apply formal verification in your projects and your design. Here's what you'll learn. How formal works. How to set up the design initialization. How to optimize clock setup and how to preload state into your formal tool to jump into different states of your design. You'll learn about formal modeling, building your understanding of formal synthesis, safety and liveness properties, how to write fairness constraints, and how to create a formal test bench. Next, you'll learn about how and where to introduce non-determinism, which inserts both randomness and gives the formal tool more degrees of freedom, helping it to better traverse the state space and solve harder problems. You'll be introduced to concepts like symbolic constants and formal scoreboarding. You'll then learn how to reduce design complexity and introduce abstraction. You'll learn how you can use abstractions in both the design or in a checker and discuss the three types of abstraction, data, temporal, and behavioral abstractions. We'll introduce abstraction techniques like induction and using state machines and discuss what makes for a safe abstraction. You'll learn how to detect under and over constraining and how to figure out the minimal set of constraints. You'll learn how to create streams of input stimulus using constraints or how to create large packets of data to be sent into your design. You'll also learn how to introduce error injection into your formal stimulus. Lastly, you'll learn about different types of formal equivalency and will introduce sequential equivalency checking. You'll understand how sequential equivalency checking works using an assume guarantee approach We'll discuss how to perform signal mapping for equivalency points and how to add helper assertions and hints to guide the sequential equivalency checking analysis. We'll also discuss a number of important applications that rely upon sequential equivalency checking. Advanced formal verification follows the learning journey from our essential formal verification course which is our introductory course to get you up and running and formal in the context of your own design and verification project. Dulos is an independent company enabling you to receive the benefit of vendor neutral training while at the same time still taking advantage of the leading tools in our own cloud-based infrastructure. Dulos training materials are renowned for being comprehensive, industry relevant, and of the highest quality, and we offer instructor-led online, in-person, and on-site team training. My name is Doug Smith, a verification engineer and a senior member of technical staff at Dulos, and I started using formal verification over 20 years ago on projects and became a true believer in the value of formal verification. If Advanced Formal has piqued your interest and you and your team are ready to become subject matter experts on Formal, 
then head over to our website today and contact one of our team members to find out more information.